Uh, mid lane is very even as well, though. Invoker does have eight denies to the one of the Alk. And then both off lanes. Ooh, they're going for it up top. Velo will get caught by the pounce at least, but we'll see the Frostbite follow up. And it's just going to be, again, more stats stolen. But the Sunstrike might change oh. the equation. Dodge, but, well, he still ends up going down. He's running in circles there for a little while. So nine minutes into it, you can see it's to the lead of TNC by almost 2,000 net worth and experience. They're going to wrap around now, try and find this kill on Velo. Pops the ulti and actually is going to be contained still. The Sun Strike, a little bit off the mark, and well, they're able to turn it. The double edge onto the creep. Huge play. Yeah, that's so sick. Uh, being able to get it just on a, a creep to the side there is exactly what they needed to do. Um, enabling a essentially a full, a, the exact trade that you want. Gold gain aspect of it. Uh, oh. It's TNC that want to take towers for the map. Uh, aspect of it. Raven has to know that he's being stalked, but doesn't get the dark pack down in time and is going to be caught. Hand. They're going on top of Sionix, the Shadow Blade for the initiation if they wanted to go for they it. can't do this. He's got the spin. Oh, the spin immediately out of there. Now they're in trouble. They have the Stampede if they wanted to go for it. Could cancel the TP. Sionix actually TP's out. And now a little bit of a rough display, but it doesn't matter. The Radiance is there. All of the right click is coming in. And they get the Omni Slash as well onto Tim's. Oh, the Glimpse pulling him back in. Yeah. That is a uh, Meteor, which is pretty decent. It doesn't look like it's going to end up mattering. They have the dust. They have everything. And in spite of the Juggernaut TPing away... So he actually TPed a Tier 1. Okay. So he didn't go very far at all. He did kind of pull himself back about a Blink Dagger's width away, but it didn't take him out of the fight. And that's the important thing. So he just wanted to make it's going to be... He kind of having to hold back a little bit, losing on that item pickup. And we're going to be seeing Sionix... Uh, let's try to spin away. Didn't TP immediately for some reason, and just relying on the Stampede to try to get him out. Uh, this is a very awkward situation now. Lifted up, they're trying to get in here to turn the fight, but the CM ulti is already out, and TNC, they're actually going to be able to turn this completely around. They get the Deafening Blast in the midst of the stun, but there's the Epicenter to turn it. They're on top of him. So much damage. Raven thinking about going back in. Alacrity wears off, but Crimson is going to fall from that one. Three are dead for TNC, but they crying at the opportunity loss. I mean, it's like, you know he blames you for missing the Braille Strike. It's blind, it's in the tree. Yeah. Just try. It's worth 140 mana. But uh, we'll Ooh. see Stampede forward. Actually, we Slark in a bit of a rough spot. No BKB, and he gets glimpsed back into the Static Storm. And that should be his death. Taking him down. See, he on the other side is able to kill off Rior, so that is making it a little bit more difficult than it might otherwise be. And they're already just in a great position here. I'm going to see... Uh, Attempt to go here on the Coddle. Nice double force staff going to be able to get him out. And now, such a fellow who has no stampede and really oh, no answer. Sionix on top of him. The CM ulti is over in the trees. It's okay. not that many to go for a TP. All right, that was, I don't think, the play necessarily. Very awkward situation on top of Alo, though. BKB Popper Slark trying to bring him down. Oh. Not quite there. And they also are on top of Cuckoo. Not able to get out with the Ghost Walk or anything else. And so they end up taking the Invoker down. Meanwhile, trying to chase now onto the Slark. It's not quite going to be there. It does get a little bit of the Epicenter pulses off on him. While we do see the Brewmaster soon to fall as well, I believe. Well, they missed the Burrow Strike also. Pulling him back in. He gets his ulti off now and should be able to run. A base race situation, and it just gets really awkward from there. So they wanted to try to do what they could to hold position, but Geekfam once again proving they're really strong 5v5. Oh, Sam H. Maybe in some trouble. They do have the Sun Strike down here to the south side, and Crimson ends up falling off the fight. Oh my god, if they get caught by an Ag's ulti right here, this would be disastrous. And, well, he's on top of the Disruptor. They managed to burn through him before he can get anything off. And now looking for more. The Burrow Strike only connects onto one, but they have been able to control the Brewmaster. For the moment, he doesn't get the ulti off. No buyback for him, so he can't get back into this fight. And, well, the Meatball dropped. It's not really doing a whole heck of a lot. They have been able to kill off Sionix, though. That's a thousand gold to Tim's. Geek fam trying to find it. The is. Burrow Strike might be able to be enough. They're trying to kill him off. Doesn't look like Cuckoo's going to be able to escape. The Raven has just been a monster. 40 stacks right now of Essence Shift, and it's only going to keep going up. Oh, boy. Four dead. And the Burrow looked good, but it was not enough at the end of the day. Was they the exact alacrity? They lift up as well on the Juggernaut, and, well, maybe this is a little bit of a scary time. The right click's coming through, oh, no. and they get the Abyssal. He's not going to be able to take down these barracks off the back of this. Yeah, but they still committed so much to it. They got the Glyph out of it. They got almost half the barracks. Yeah, it's like an 80-second cooldown. They're, they can rinse and repeat. It, it takes a while, but they'll they'll do it again. Up top, though. Raven ends up getting a little bit too far Not forward. Not sure about that one. Oh, my God. And now, well, the Hex is down there on the Centaur, but they need to get out. This could actually end up terribly for them. Geek Fam in a decent position, and, well, might even be able to get the 
Burrow strike out on top of Sam H to yeah, bring him no, back in. He had no TP. It's in his backpack. He's actually going to swap over to the Cheese, try to blink out, but we've seen them cancel it multiple times. They will do so again with the Sandstorm, and that's going to be the death of the Brewmaster. And, and Poker forced to just BKB and TP out. So from bad to worse, so they don't end up getting the melee barracks. Already been used, I assume? Yeah, I believe so. In any case, he's distracted for up top where, uh, yeah, they're just going to be able to close in really hard. Tornado, on a little bit off the mark. Tee he he's on top of Cuckoo right now. Pops the shrine, so not going to have that for the rest of the engagement. Oh. The sheep stick is available. Bottom, Bottom lane. First spirit going in. They're trying to make it happen. Not sure if it's going to be enough, though. Raven on top of that juggernaut. He's spinning, but he should end up falling to this one if they can it's manage to string it together. See, he pops his BKB as well. Cuckoo pops his. The deafening blast, again, not the greatest in the world. Bottom lane is still pushing in, and they're able to take down the melee barracks, trying to take out the mid tier three as well. Fight is going to continue off to the side here as Disruptor dies. But that might be the extent of it. See, Earth Spirit just takes the entire bo Earth bottom lane. The Brewmaster is just able to clean it up, no problem at all. And in their retreat, Geek Fam lose out of top as well. So that when the Brewmaster comes uh, calling, that they can actually answer back. Uh, we did also end up getting an Aghanim Scepter completed on the Sand King, it's worth noting. So a couple of those bigger class items are up. But as you mentioned, that also does mean that we're not seeing those right click damage dealing items for Tihi, who's. Gonna get caught now. Force staff with the burrow strike connects onto the coddle. Another force staff from the CM, keeping this coddle alive. Glimmer cape, but yeah, they're on top of him. They found that kill. Top lane. Uh, it's going to be the oh alacrity God. shenanigans. They, there's no glyph. There's nothing to stop this, and they get the lift it's up gone. on the jug as well. They are not going to have this melee barracks for long. Are probably going to be able to get the ranged as well. Although they are controlling this invoker for the moment. Pox BKB decides to run. Could go in for the finish and maybe even another round of this if they want to throw Alacrity out. Over on the south side of the fight, Tihi trying to get something done for this team, but he can't lock down Raven. The long duration leash from that level 25 talent on Slark doing work and no, Ice Wall a little bit off the mark over here in the north. They were finally able to bring down that Brewmaster, but Tihi left alone. He might be able to bring down Rior. That leash is just so frustrating to deal with and Ice Wall the boot. It's a sad life right now for Tihi. Uh, Rat Dota is alive and well here in Geek Fam versus TNC. Uh, it's gonna be them trying oh, to finish off. Flash, what? He walked into this. Oh, he walked into the Sentry. Oh no, that really hurts. I thought he was gonna get out of there for a moment, and now Raven. They went back in only for hey, one tornado he lift no off. TV. He's he gonna no end TV. up dropping as well. TNC, you had this game. What's going on? I mean, they had themselves in such a good position, and then they uh -huh. just end up losing two heroes. The pounce will not get him away, and he doesn't have a BKB anymore. So he will. There's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide. This is an agative sad cake. Cabrero across the screen, and uh, yeah, they end up losing two core heroes. The question is whether Geek Fam can get down the mid lane fast enough to uh, get bypass out. They have to, right? Yeah. I mean, they held off. They, they didn't end up pushing it. Now you've got another combination that can come out soon. Mana Leak now down onto that Centaur. He pops his DKB, turns to run and fight. They'll still be able to chase this for a little while. And oh, I, and they actually oh are going to get him. He didn't TP right away. I guess that it was either coming out and of his backpack or something. Either way. He gets yeah. a missile either way. So he go, is guaranteed dead at that point. They have to fight it now. They'll try for a good stun combo, but... Oh, he blinks out, actually. But this is what? also okay. going to be the Alchemist in some trouble. And... Well, maybe going to end up falling here on the south side. Velo's still out on me. Well, it's going to be used now onto Raven, but it's uh, not sure if it's going to be enough. They do take down one almost. No, Cuckoo, he's away on nothing. He ends up dying in the acid spray. The stun, Velo, who should have been dead a long time ago, possibly going to bring down Raven. They get the stun. The vision is going to be there as well. Triple kill. They all have buyback. And there's going to be Crystal Man trying to run away on the northeastern front. He's actually able to juke it out well enough with the Glimmer Cave. They've got a couple of key ones we've already seen. The Slark Leash definitely being a factor. But Cuckoo, is he going to be the first one that they find? They instead, off the side, they cancel the TP of Cuckoo. And the Tornado going to lift up onto one. Tim's is already down. The chase is going to go through now. And Sam H pops his BKB already. Oh! Has it in. The CM ulti, not sure if it's going to be enough. And well, it looks like off the back of this, Tihi in some trouble. Maybe he's getting the regen. Static Storm Disruptor is not really doing that much either. Omni Slash now down, going to be able to connect onto Raven, but it's still not bringing him low enough. So nobody dead as of yet. The Burrow Strike through, trying to kill off oh. Raven. There's four around him. Definitely blasting the pushback. The Blinding Light making a good work of all of it. They buy back on the Disruptor. He needs to get back into the spray. Raji trying to run away. He, he out of mana, and now Raven's on top from Raven. A ton of Essence Shift about to be into his pocket. 
They do a buyback on the Alchemist, but this should secure them Roshan. They force the buyback out of the Disruptor, and it just puts them in this really awkward spot. We even have an Alchemist who bought Negative Scepter, and then like they didn't even have time to throw it on. For this, if they lose a fight off the back of it, you might end up losing the game, even if you get Megas. Yeah, they have to wait for the Alchemist. All right, done there onto Raven. Sionix, they're trying to take him down and kill off this brute panda. Alacrity is back onto him again. The lift up from him and the Burrow Strike now down onto Keeper of the Light. All of the heals coming in from these Illuminates. The Tornado is going to lift up the Sand King. Already, the melees are down and TNC playing it safe. They don't get anything out of it. They're just backing out. Not a damn thing. It's going to be the melee Rex going down in mid. There's one building that cannot oh, no. regenerate, and they're going for the fight. All right, Ami Slash there, though. It's going to maybe be able to bring down the Invoker. If they can find that kill, that's a huge one. Two minutes, no Invoker. Disruptor ulti is down as well. Rior is dead. That's Jim on the ground. They have the Epicenter on top of Raven. They're on top of as well. Tionix, can they kill him off? They're still focused right here in the base. Jeez, Sam Jeez, H Jeez, is trying Jeez, to make Jeez. it happen. It's oh. not going to happen. Sionix, triple kill for him, and there is no buyback on the Invoker. Why did they go back in? They could have just walked away. Game, and instead they commit. They think they've got an opportunity with the Tornado. They do it, and yet just, their five man is still weaker. Like that, when it's a fair fight, no matter how long the fight can go, you just can't be certain about anything. We're gonna see them jump on the Juggernaut here. Nice little hex coming against him. Uh, he's gonna be able to spin away though, and now rodkey has got his back. Nice Yule focus on the Coddle is gonna be a kill. Here oh and now Raven God. is out of options, has the BKB, and still again doesn't have a TP scroll. I mean, he has the Aegis. They, they might just burn through it right here, honestly. He's getting chased down, Burrow Strike dead. He's now, got Shadow Dance, he's got BKB. He Shadow doesn't Blade. have a TP though. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Like, I mean, oh I'm, no, they stunned him. The right clicks, he's coming through. He tries to pounce away. TNC, what have you done? You've thrown it all away. They didn't even get Megas off of it. That was the thing. It's like you, you, you fully, in quotation marks, commit for the barracks, but you don't even get the Mega Creeps, and then you go back in a second time, and now rip. But he does. He has to have at least a TP in his backpack so that he can put, throw in the slot after Aegis, and the BKB should allow him to escape. But instead, he's made two critical errors, one that wasn't punished, but this one very well maybe as they're going for the throne. Geek fam, in spite of uh, all of this crazy base. The Brewmaster will be able to take down the range racks. That is Mega Creeps, but at what cost if this is going to be the game decider right here? 70 seconds, no Slark. They need to finish it off somehow. Maybe Invoker ends up TPing down there and tries to throw the Alacrity on, but not sure if it's going to end up being enough. They're hitting away. Hex now onto the Alchemist. Brewmaster, he is not going to be able to do damage in the bottom lane, and they have their eyes on the prize. BKB is popped. He, he wants to finish this one off to the best of his abilities. They have that Disruptor ulti down on top of one, but see, he continues his spree, and, well, the Frostbite, they're taking it away. Can they somehow hold on to this? Slark, the blinding right Slark push back. Five seconds. Slark can buy back here. If he can just get in, they need a little bit more All control. right, he buys back. No, gets in there. It's not going to oh. happen. Geek fam are going to take it. GG is called, and an upset that probably a lot of people would.